guys. I just wanted to record a short thought. So we've been doing Praxis for quite a while now, a long period of months, and we've gone through so many different spiritual practices. And um, I think the danger with this, you know, we slowed it down a bit. We were kind of doing one a week and then we were like, oh, let's do one a month. And um, I want to take, I want us to just take a, a break for a month, not from practicing the way of Jesus, um, but from kind of bombing us with new practices um, and I wonder if you might just want to take a bit of time to just look over you know the past practices we've done we've looked at things like Sabbath we've looked at things like fasting we've looked at things like practicing the presence of God we've looked at things like silence and solitude um, uh, maybe just look over those practices maybe maybe as you've practiced them one particularly resonated or one felt particularly easy or one you know brought some an aspect to your kind of spiritual walk that you hadn't sort of encountered before and I wonder whether maybe you just want to instead of like constantly you know, we can make the Christian journey about learning or oh, I must learn more if I learn more up here I'm sorted the reality is discipleship is not simply about learning you know our discipleship is more about our being and allowing that to be changed than it is about just allowing our head to be filled with more stuff. And sometimes in filling our head with more stuff, we don't actually allow that stuff to, to transform us and change us. So we're going to take a bit of a break. And what I'd really love to invite you to do is just look back over the past practices and maybe just pick one. And maybe just over this next month, try and embed that practice as just what you do in life. Um, and, and, and that could just be, you know, depending on the practice, just something you do once a day, once a week. But just find a routine that works and just embed that practice as just a kind of permanent part of your spiritual walk with Jesus. So instead of just trying different, different ones out all the time, we're going to try and just embed one in going forward and see what kind of happens with that over instead of a period of weeks, over a period of months. So look back, maybe spend a bit of time praying. Jesus, what's the one practice that maybe you want me to attend to? Maybe there was one that resonated. Maybe there was one that just felt really new. And just give it a go and keep going with it. Keep embedding it in. It will be difficult. You know, I think that uh, the brain science says that you've got to do something around 50 to 60 times before it becomes a habit. But when it becomes a habit, it becomes easy. But why not commit to doing it 50 to 60 times. If it's a daily practice, why not put on your calendar, you know, a mark after 50 to 60 days where you're kind of like, I'm going to try it for this period of time. And if after that I'm still struggling, maybe I'll review it then. But just let's try and play the long game just for a, for a little bit. So we're going to pause. We're not going to have any more kind of new practices for a while. We're just going to try and visit the old ones we've done and see if we can embed them in our lives.